so, after my last video, um, after I took that bite from the crock pot, I got really hungry, and, um, so, now I'm eating, and it, it may look gross, but let me tell you, it is magnificent. It's fantastic. It really is. Mm-hmm. It really is. Shredded beef. Mm. Ooh-wee! Sautéed onions. Some green pepper. Mmm, some carrots. Some cooked parrots. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the juices from the meat. Like, it's absorbed. And the carrots, and the meaty taste of it all. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so good. But, um, yeah. I'm just waiting until my mom gets home from work because, hmm. I don't know why I just said that. Because I'm not waiting for her to get home. Well, I am waiting for her to get home from work. But not for any kind of reason. Just so I know she's home. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I really don't know what I'm saying. So just ignore me if you really want to. Um. Um. So. This beef is good. Whoa! Just slid off my fork! Mmm! Oh, okay. Speaking of shredded beef, okay? That looks stringy and clumpy. Alright. So, I got a story to tell you. Last night, I was at church, and, um, um, the boys had to make us food because the girls won this, like, competition between, like, um, who could bring in, like, the most pennies. And the girls won because, you know, we're awesome, right? And so, um, the guys were finally in the kitchen. <laughs> I thought of that myself. I'm so funny. And, um, they made us hot dogs and baked potatoes. And I didn't have a baked potato. I only had, you know... A hot dog. Not a full hot dog, though, because I had ate 14 mozzarella sticks right before I left. Why would I do that when I knew we were going to eat at church? I don't know. My stomach spoke for me. My stomach made all the choices during that time when I ate 14 mozzarella sticks, so don't judge me, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I could totally win an eating competition. Anyway, not the point of the conversation. So... My friend, Richard, he, <laughs> he decides to get, like, one of the fattest hot dogs there, okay? And I mean, they are, like, this fat around. I've never seen such a big hot dog in my life. But I think it was because they were in there a little too long. They absorbed most of the water, which is really nasty, because I felt Richard's hot dog, and it was mushy, and it was, like, squishy, and it was, like, ew, that's watery nastiness. Anyway, so he still ate it, and, um, um, okay, he still ate it, and he chewed it up, and I was taking pictures, like, the whole entire night. I was like, hey, I'm awesome, whoop, whoop, and, um, he, he was eating his hot dog, and he spit it out of his mouth for some reason onto his plate, because he just likes to do things like this to disgust people or annoy people or make people sick. I don't really know. But, he spit out his hot dog on his plate, and I was going to take a picture of it because it looked like bark. Because, I mean, in a way it kind of was, but it kind of wasn't, you know. And then, I see him take his fork, scoop it up, and eat it. Most disgusting thing I had ever seen in my life. Oh, oh, and get this, it wasn't the first time he had done it. 
Okay, I'd seen him do this thing, this type of thing before. It wasn't with a hot dog, though. But what made it even more disgusting, what made me gag literally two times just thinking about it, um, was because it was a hot dog. Hot dogs, you don't know what they're made out of. They are processed, gross, like, like, like livers and kidneys of turkeys or, I don't really know if that's true, but, but it's gross, okay, that's what I'm trying to point out. It's nasty, alright, and the, the, it's just, he spits it out and then he eats it again, and that's just gross. Mm. And that's the story. I don't really know if there was a point to it. But I just wanted someone, whoever you are that is watching this, to know how gross that is and to feel my pain. I had to watch it. And it was gross. It was repulsive. It was disturbing. Very...